everyone, Misty Vell here, back with another Ranch of Rivershine Let's Play. So we're going to go see if Velvet's health is... Oh, okay. Uh, Madeline told me you'll soon be competing at a higher level. And I wanted to make sure your arena is set up correctly to prepare for them. Let's have a chat about it whenever you're in town. Um, okay. Uh, pardon me, I'm... I'm on the back end of some allergies, so I'm sniffing and I apologize. All right, let's go see if Velvet's health is any better. Probably not 100%. We still have our little mini leaf. Did I just pass up? I did. I have to actually say it out loud. Um, get a carrot. If we hit the right button, another apple. Hello, you came running over to me. Hello, Oop, that was not quite what I meant. Can I get down? Okay, she's at 45 health, so she is improving. Um, still not enough to... Uh, her stats are so low. Um, what's her trust? 4%. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um, I can't take you on a run. Um, let me get on you and put you in the stall. Oh, oh, okay. W. <laughs> ah, streamer fails. Let's give you some grain and some oats. Um, I want uh, 17, 15, 18, 16. So you're, you've got pretty good stats. Barley. Let's give you some barley. She's an unhealthy adult. I can still take her to train a little bit, even though she's unhealthy. I just can't race her or sell her. Yay. Okay, and that was all my fault for sleeping for six days. Um, oh, I should have brushed her. Oh, hang on. Let's. Oh, I can't brush you. God. <laughs> just get on the horse. Okay. It doesn't show you that there's this there's an endurance buff, but there is. So we can take her to the pine forest, and you can either run around aimlessly, galloping, and then slowing her down, or you can go into the arena, do some jumps, so you get double <clears throat> uh, training points and stuff. You'll only get double endurance. You won't get. <clears throat> Lord have mercy, of course, when I want to do something. So you won't get double, um, like, jump points, but you'll get jump points if you, if you do, uh, jumping in the arena in the pine forest. Like, if I can do some jumps, I just don't know where all these jumps are. There needs to be a cohesive like pattern on where the heck they are because I never can find them like there's some over there but you never know where the flock they whoop, I, okay all right so we're just gonna skip through. <laughs> then you can just gallop around and see the area basically jumping <clears throat> jumping and flexibility there's some in the water I ran her energy out, so yeah, my bad. She didn't have enough to begin with, but we did get some. See, there we get another one. This is going to be a really short training session. <laughs> but you get a gist of how the pine forest looks. And like I said, all the rivers and lakes at this particular point in early access are still um, shallow enough that you can run through every single one of them. Um, Oh, hey, and oh my goodness, looks like a bounty. Like, crap. Okay, we got some Timothy, we got some straw, we got some more Timothy. We got, there we go. Oh, allergies suck. Yeah, each of the places, if you just go out um, and cruise around the area, they're super pretty. There's just little jumps everywhere. Oh, this. There's some more. <clears throat> so 
So they get more trust. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> if you lead them around, that increases their trust. Um, oh, look, corn. So you can lead them around. Um, you can win races and then using the soft brush. All of those things increase trust. Um, but this is just a super, each of these areas is just super cool. For a second, I thought she wasn't going to go through the water, but she did. And you're, you can go through all of these areas um, and explore to your heart's content. There is no like limitations. Like, oh, you can only go to this section at this time. I mean, you can see the vista here. This, this area is huge. This whole map, I mean, you can go right up to the swirly clouds on the, the edges here. Because see, we're right here. And then it's all over here. There's the arena. I mean, it doesn't look big on the map. And that's the statue surrounded by all the bennies. But, I mean, you look at all these rivers. Look, I mean, look at all this. This place is inundated. And it's just beautiful. There's some more corn. You can gather. Each area has different forageables. Um, like uh, Crystal Lake is the only place right now that you'll find alfalfa. Just like, like I'm doing with the corn and the straw here. Um, Pine Forest has corn. Um, Lupine Meadow has... Uh, oats I think yeah lupine meadow has oats so each area has a different forageable so if you wanted to um, go for a specific resource oops, and every place has like carrots and apples kind of hanging out <clears throat> but yeah so those are just some tips if you're short on money and you want to sell things you can go around each area and just gather stuff, leading your horse, which increases the trust. Um, and it also, you don't have to buy straw then, because each area does have its share of straw. Just laying about. <clears throat> like this is, like the, what, the fifth one that I've found so far. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, is there another one over there? Nope. Uh. Okay, so we're just cruising around, looking at different things. All right, so we had a brief interruption, <clears throat> and uh, so we're on the next day. We still haven't talked to River. I got stuck out in, <clears throat> excuse me, I got stuck out in the uh, pine forest. So you'll notice that there was a jump. I apologize. Let's see if we can grow some crops. Get some oat seeds. <clears throat> I apologize for my voice. It's still a little early. Always carrots. Get some more wheat. And like I said, that shield fertilizer that I, I just used, you can buy it from the lady in, um, nope. well, that's not going to work because it's, it's spring. And the last day is spring at that. Oh well. We lose a crop. But you can buy from the lady in Lupine Meadow. Um, it's not expensive, and you can grow every crop all year long, so it's good. Um, so we have, I think, three more days or two more days until Mini Leaf is an adolescent. Hey, hey. keep having to tell myself. Come here, cutie. Two little white stockings are so stinking cute. Come here, Mama. Yep, so yep, two more days. And then we'll see how Velvet's doing. Let's see. 
you hear me? <laughs> Sorry, that was me picking my mouse up and dropping it. Like a complete idiot. There, right there he is. Sometimes I wish I could mow the grass in here, but then, then it would look like a real field where the horses have eaten all the grass. <laughs> Better to leave it long. Looks more aesthetically pleasing. All right, so Velvet is at 55 health now, so that's good. She's slowly getting back. I'm going to send her to the stable and give her some more grain. And wait, where am I? Oh, <laughs> lost in the my own field. Okay, yeah, we're good. Honest, we're fine. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Okay, so we're going to go give Velvet some grain. And then might take her for some more training. Gotta look at her stats. Alright, so we want to give her some hay. And, well, actually, let me look at her stats first. So she's at 19 endurance, 19 jump, 16 flex, and 19 speed. So she's, she's doing pretty good. She's got 34 potential left. I know you can't see that because my face is in the way. But no matter what game I play, I'm always blocking something. So, uh, and her trust is at 6%. Um, okay, so she's doing pretty good. Um, what should I do? Her flex is low, so what is... Alright, so we give her Milo to improve her flexibility. And then basically you just ride her in a circle. Uh, there will be... Um, there will be a flexibility training area at some point. Eloise has two new, two, 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 <laughs> where's my camera? Two new training areas she's working on. And one of those I'm sure is going to be flexibility. And I don't know what the other is. Um, she also posted more pics on how the wild horses are going to act so I will include those little snippets of videos that she included at the end of my video so don't forget to give a like a follow and wait till the end of the video because then you'll get to see that special little footage that she put in her um, progress points so all right so she's eaten enough we'll go do some flexibility training and like I said playing this game every day isn't about racing or grinding it, it do it any way you want. If you want to walk your horses around your field or take them to another area and just do a, a trail ride, you can do anything you want in this game. There's no time limit on the quest. You decide how fast or slow you want to progress. All right, so let's hop on her. Um, and like I said, the ways to get trust in a horse are winning races leading them uh, around and the soft brush at least for so uh, for the moment <clears throat> so i'm just going to take her i'm going to go talk to river and then i'm going to take her into into one of the other areas and just cruise around and uh, do some flexibility training and uh, i know that's probably going to be kind of boring but especially going in circles um i'll not i'll try and not leave a ton of it in because nobody needs to be dizzy <laughs> just me <laughs> Um, and we have almost 15,000, so I might sell some stuff. We don't have any poop to sell. Um, let me see if I can round up some chickens. Let's separate this one. Nope. Okay, so we gotta go talk to River. Hopefully River is at her house and not cruising around. And I'm not gonna, <clears throat> I'm not gonna going to grind for some forageables. I'm not gonna stop at everyone I see because it's just, it's too much right now. Oh, I've got a mission. All right, so, oops, I can hit the right button. Yes, she is at home. And you can drag your map around. Um, because when you open it, whoops, I'm just hitting all sorts of things. Uh, when you open it, it it doesn't show the entire map. You have to kind of drag it around. Oh, there she is. Good morning. Let's see. <laughs> I'm never gonna get this quest. I've heard that all after all of your wins in the beginner competitions, you're ready for a new challenge. Well, let's make sure you're really ready for it to, bleh, to participate in these new competitions. 
your horse will need to be able to jump intermediate obstacles. Let's start with getting those intermediate country barrel course set up for you. So you go into shop and you've got the Cavaletti course or the flower course. Um, so it's 3850, which I have plenty of money. And then there's an advanced that's the next level after intermediate. So we don't need that. So I'm going to go back and leave. And I think I have to complete the quest. Oh, I was supposed to do the country. All right. Streamer not reading the darn quest. I purchased the wrong ones. Wait. Um, was it supposed to be this one? Purchase the intermediate country barrels from Rivers Store. Okay, I'm not seeing the country barrels. Oh no. Oh no. And you can sell pretty much, to, there's always going to be a sell button. Anybody who sells something, you can sell back to them. I'm a little confused. I've got the beginner country barrels, which I don't really need. Um, leave. Purchase the intermediate country barrels, but they're not there. Okay, I'm really confused. I purchased the. F I purchased two things. I did not see. Maybe she doesn't have them yet. Oh God. Why does it say country barrels? Okay, we're just going to ignore the country barrels for the moment because I did buy two courses and I halved my... <laughs> I lost half of my <laughs> my uh, inventory. And I don't... Until Little Baby Leaf grows up, I can't buy another horse. Um, okay, so that's a problem. But I still need to, where do I, I want to go to Lupine Meadow. What's back here? There's a little trail. Yeah, they need to do some, like, be able to do some decorating, but I don't think that's this game. This game is not going to be like, um, Paleo or, uh, Dinkum, where you can decorate at all. That is not this game. Um, it is a cozy game, but it's not going to be any decorating, I don't think. At least not for the foreseeable future. Maybe. Oh, wait, his statue is growing. But I don't want this horse to get it. I kind of want my other mare to get it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're just going to stay right here. I'm going to hit my Alt button so I can use my WASD. Um, so I can, yeah, use my WASD keys. I'm going to hit the D button and then hit canner and then we're just going to go around and around. Actually, I can hit the, I can just, you can train flexibility just using a trot. Anything that has the horse moving forward because if I do, if I do a canter then I'm training speed and flexibility. And I am in the speed area so, yeah, we just got one flex. Um, but I am more intent on getting um, flexibility at this particular point. But it wouldn't hurt, I suppose, to do speed, since I'm in the speed zone, or area, however you want to say it. So we're still getting more flex, and because you can only do one grain at a time, um, and it will diminish her, her stamina, but it will at least help to get her up. You see, there we go, speed. Because I, I can't remember if... Um, hang on, I'm losing my train of thought. I can't remember what the stats are for intermediate. I don't know if they're going to be like 30 or if 25 is good enough. Okay, there's another flex. We're losing, we're losing. Boy, one more point. Nope. Okay, we're done. Okay, so then I'm going to hit my Alt key again because I prefer to, to do it with the mouse. Again, you can either use the WASD keys 
um, or you can use the, the mouse. Um, I prefer the mouse, it's just me. All right, so let's see what your flex is now. Okay, so your flex is 21, that was quick. Jump is 19, endurance 19, speed is 22. So we did pretty good. So being in the speed area helped the speed bit a little bit. Um, and then the flexibility, it doesn't matter where I go as long as I um, have the grain. And uh, so that's pretty good. Let's give you an apple. Yeah. And we'll give you some brush them. Get all that dust off. You always want to brush your in real life horses so they don't get any saddle sores or anything else. All right, so what is your trust now? Oh, it's at 9%. Okay, that's right. It was 6, now it's 9. So even leading and the, and the brushing uh, helps. Okay, so let me see what his stats are. So I'm just going to pop on him. Um, so his speed is 39, and because I, I canter everywhere. His endurance is 22, jump is 23, flex is 23, and he has six potential left. Ugh. So if anybody, if I was going to use anybody on the statues, it would be him or the other mayor, uh, Blossom. So let's see, once you buy those jumps, you can use it at any arena, including yours. Um, the minute you go to one, this pops up. So if I want intermediate, I've got wooden cavaletti and flower. So let's do flower and see, because it does a mix of babies. Nope. He's not meeting the, that. see how red that is? That's like, no, he doesn't have the qualifications. He cannot jump an intermediate, so. Don't make me sell off my whole flipping herd. I will be upset. Um, beginner. I used to be so good at planning things. Since I met you, I threw my plans away. Coffee and night and 10 a.m. champagne. We can spend a week in London or LA. Yeah, this something about the way we get lost in every moment. Perfectly unfocused. Nothing's quite the same as you and me, baby. I love it when we're wasting time. Laughing until we cry. Okay, all right, so that's another $1,200. Yay, Blue Flame, Ooh, that's a neat name. I should be writing these down so when I get other horses. Okay, so we got a 250. Let me give him an apple. We'll do one more and then we'll sleep for the day. Oh my goodness, I know, it's terrible. We can do this one. The way you're looking at me right now's got me going crazy. Can't take much more of this. You got me feeling something, baby. So why don't you and I take it up a notch, fan that fire? Let the heat encompass us. Watch the flames and us get higher. Baby, I'm burning up. I can see the smoke coming off our skin. right. 
Success and Blue Mirage and Blue Mirage came in second and third. That is so funny. Okay, now we're gonna head back because it's 1600 or six o'clock in game. So I'm gonna have to look up off camera what the stats are. I may have to just sell. Keep Velvet until she's better, and then just sell everybody and buy new horses. Which I don't really want to do, but you do upgrade. Ooh. And me. Okay. Good job, babe. Alright, sleep tight, guys. We're gonna go to sleep. That's good. So I want beginner, flower, in the course. Sorry, there's a hair. <laughs> you don't have to do this. Like I said, if you don't want to train speed, you can do it at a trot. But of course, I like a little bit of speed training at the same time. You can also do endurance with the jumps. I find it a little bit more difficult. So if I'm going to train endurance in the um, arena, then I just take all the cavalettis out and just have an empty arena and um, and go uh, in a circle, basically. And I apologize if you can hear my spacebar or keyboard in the in the uh, undertone because my mic's right next to it. So you can jump any pattern you want. You don't have to jump them in any order. As long as you hit them head on and the, the light is green under it, you can jump however you wish. Oops, that was an odd angle. Like, are we getting points in jumping? The more flexibility a horse has, the more you can approach a jump from a diagonal. So that's what flexibility is used for. So if you need to cut a corner, say I wanted to cut this corner like that, if your horse has low flex, they can't they can't do that. Okay, so did we did we gain any jumping? We did, 24. I just did not see, literally did not see the little ticks going by. So that's good, 24, 19, 23, 21. So even improving their stats will help you when you go to sell them, even if they don't win any races, I think. I did not test that theory. All right, so let me go check what mama's stats are. Can you blossom? All right, so her speed is 29, her endurance is 17, jump is 19, flex is 16. So she's definitely not going to be qualified for the, um, she's already clean, for the intermediate. So I'm basically going to have to sell my whole herd. Um, I'm going to have to sell Cole, my stallion, Blossom, the mom, and then a little bit here uh, tomorrow. That sucks, but maybe I can get two horses, and then when when Velvet recovers, I'll have to sell her um, so that I can get a horse for the intermediate uh, section. All right, so let's let's get Blossom a ride. All right, so let's try. Hopefully, Rivers at home. Okay. okay, that's an interesting, um, usually the horses are in their stalls, straight and narrow, This, these are both sideways. The stalls are roomy enough and horses in real life will walk around and lay down and, and whatnot in their stalls, but I've never seen it in French or French. <laughs> <laughs> where they both went sideways. And that's an interesting spotted 
Dunn. Mm, like an Appaloosa Dunn. Oh, there's River. She happened to be in there. Maybe that's why. Hey. Um, shop. Beginner Country Barrel. Maybe I have to... I have to buy the beginner barrel to get the intermediate. Are you kidding? That's so weird, Eloise. Why do I have to buy the intermediate of a set to get the other set? This shouldn't be. You should have, oh. Maybe, I, I don't know. Is this interesting for 4,200? No, but I guess. Now that your horse can jump both beginner and intermediate jumps, keep something in mind if you want them to pr progress. They'll have to increase their jump skill faster if they're jumping. They'll increase their jump skill faster if they're jumping the highest obstacle possible. So in other words, if you put down the beginner, they're not going to increase their jump skill as fast. So make sure to jump as high as your horse can. It's a lot more fun that way. So, yeah. Okay, so let's make sure your horse can jump the intermediate course. Okay. Train your horse to 25% jump skill. What do you have? 19. Well, that's not going to cut it. We're just going to have to wait on that. <laughs> and even though it's only noon, we're going to we're going to sleep the day um, to save our progress and then we're just going to sell everybody but velvet tomorrow. Sorry guys. Maybe we can get two horses. There comes baby. Mommy, where'd you go? Let's give him a brush. Give her a brush. Get all that dirt off. Okay, now we're gonna go sleep. Tomorrow's a second day of summer. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what happened? <laughs> All right, so we're on day two. Let's see what baby leaf has grown into, or mini leaf has grown into. Yep, babies always have the short tail and the mane. So mini leaf, he's in a stall now. Okay, so I have to so that's that's how your baby baby foal transitions to an a young adult. He gets his own name placard. And then you can put some straw down, give him a brush, and they won't do any of the bucking. They'll just lift their legs like, yeah, don't touch my legs. Give him some hay. So now it'll say healthy young adult gives you their color health hunger care trust is at 27 so your babies start off even if you don't lead them around just by giving them a carrot and brushing them your babies really get a high trust um, so his speed because his parents were the lowest tier horses so his speed is already at 21 endurance is at 9 jump is 11 flex is 11 but his potential will only be uh, will always be 100%. And then family tree, um, so Cole is the stallion and Blossom is the mare. And then, of course, we don't know their heritage. And then we will check on Velvet, and then we will sell everybody, because I think by that time the, excuse me, the auction house should be open. Okay, so her energy is at 75%, or her, yeah, her health. Not her, well, her energy too, but her health. And there will be, in a, in a future... In a future update, not this update coming up in September, but in a future update, Eloise has said that if you leave stallions and mares in the pasture together, there can be surprise babies. So at some point, it'll be necessary to have those other two pastures unlocked. Right now, it's really not. You can basically keep all your horses in, this, in the same pasture. It's fine um, because they can only get pregnant through the fertility pasture. But at some point, it will become necessary to separate your stallions and your mares. Otherwise, you don't know who's going to be impregnating who. It'll just be free breeding. Okay, so we're here at the auction house. So, 
this is how it comes up if you have horses to sell or even if you don't intend to sell them but you can always check so this is my stallion cole it tells what he is so i bought him from the wild horse section i bought him and blossom and velvet both from was it the wild or the common i think it was the wild um so i only paid like three or four thousand for them his is now fifteen thousand so i'm gonna sell him and he comes out just like an auction it shows you his stats which of course my face is blocking um and then you can see the bidding so he's six selling for 16 four nope six, 17 holy sh excuse me he sold for seventeen thousand. so then i can sell so she is going to sell at a minimum for 10. I'm sorry baby i love you bye so then they do a bidding so 11 2 oh my goodness wow pretty good now we're gonna do baby leaf now because i have not won any races on him i have not increased his stats or done anything with him he's gonna sell for like a base price so you see his parents, because I won so many races with both of them, sold for twelve and fifteen thousand or twelve and seventeen thousand, and he's gonna sell for maybe four. Nope, thirty-four hundred. You don't have to do anything with your babies if you just want to produce. We can't sell Velvet because she's still sick. Plus we have to have somebody to ride. So I think we're on common horses. So now we have forty thousand dollars. Ooh, you're pretty. So stats are speed 26, endurance 35, jump 24, flex 26. That's actually really good. We just need to get the jump up to 25. I think 25 is the minimum for intermediate. And then 41 potential. God, do I want to do it? Um, it looks more done than bay to me, but whatever. Um. 35 endurance is pretty good and everything's in the 20s I'm, I'm gonna regret this I know that I'm gonna pass oh now we have a white one I'm not a fond of white horses per se um, 34 32 20 and 39 no not my jam and then the rarer the horse yeah apricot done really pricey with the tiger stripes and stuff um so 33 speed 27 endurance 36 jump 39 flex yeah, 46 potential so the endurance you can easily easily fix and because it's a rarer color rarer is that a word more rare color is that proper english 10,300 i would take away the one and just name her cinnamon <laughs> that's just me so I'm going to bid 10-4. I may still have to... No, that was it? Okay, so I went to the next one. And so I bought one horse. Now I need a stallion. So it'll kick me out, and then I can go back in. I don't have to... See, and I could turn around and sell her, but that's not going to work. Okay, so I'm going to bid 10-4. And you're at 75 health. We're going to go in and look at this horse. Little Cinnamon. I'm just going to change your name to just Cinnamon. Okay. So, so I'm letting her eat. So I'm getting all her care up. And then I'm just going to send her to the pasture. Let her cruise around with Velvet. <clears throat> and then we're going to sleep. I could race her, but I'm not going to. Oh, okay, so now that I've got Cinnamon, it completed, auto completed that quest with River to train your horse to 25% skill level. So don't have to do that. Yay! Because <laughs> we bought a pre made horse that already had it. Stay tuned for the um, upcoming footage of um, what Eloise is working on with the wild horses, how you capture them, 
There's going to be, um, you round them up into a pen and then in order to learn their stats, you have to actually go up and pat them on the, you cannot pet your own horses, but the wild ones you're supposed to be able to go up to and pet and that will give you their information on what their stats are, if it's a mare, if it's a stallion, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I will include both of those after this and thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.